Assalamu alaikum students, this is Irfan sir here. I hope all of you are good. We are discussing immune system and uh, in the immune system we are discussing second line of defense. Already three components we are done with that. Uh, phagocytic barriers, inflammation and pyrexia fever we have done. Now there are three left, interferons, natural killer cells and there is complement system. Right? Now let us first understand uh, what interferons are. Right? Interferons are basically, it is a group of proteins. It is a class of proteins. Right? secreted by the cells you can call them as cytokines or you can call them as cell secretions it is just simply a class of proteins and this uh, class of protein that is interferon it protects it gives immunity mainly against viruses right that is the reason you sometimes also call it as antiviral proteins you call them as antiviral proteins because mainly they provide protection against viruses right now interferons coming to the classification there are two types of interferons right there is type 1 interferon, INF stands for interferon here, and there is type 2nd interferons, right? So there are two types of interferons. Now type 1st interferon, it consists of TNF alpha, INF alpha, that is interferon alpha, and there is INF beta, that is interferon beta, right? So type 1 consists of two interferons, INF alpha, and there is INF beta, interferon alpha, and INF beta, interferon beta. Now the gene responsible for to control INF alpha and INF beta, it is present on the chromosome number 9, very important for NEAT, right? And the cells which secrete type 1 interferon, mainly it consists of uh, leukocytes, that is WBCs, fibroblasts are there, and epithelium cells also secrete type 1 interferon, right? Now type 2nd interferon, type 2nd interferon consists of interferon gamma, INF gamma is there. And the gene responsible for it is uh, senses and control. It is present on the chromosome number 12. Very important point. And special cells uh, secrete INF gamma. It includes T lymphocytes and also it includes natural killer cell. So natural killer cell and T lymphocytes secrete type second, that is interferon. Right? Now what interferons are going to do? What are their functions? Number one, listen carefully, activation of the phagocytic activity. Interferons are going to basically activate the phagocytes like they are going to activate the macrophages, the cell with the highest power of the phagocytosis. It's also going to activate the T lymphocytes. T lymphocytes are also important immune cells and they also activate the NKC that is a natural killer cell. So first important uh, function we have seen here, that is activation role. Activating the macrophage, phagocytic cell, activation of the T lymphocytes are also activating the natural killer cell. And lastly, the uh, interferons, they are important, they protect the neighboring cells from virus infection. This thing, I will explain it here. For example, if in a body, the cell gets infected with a virus, right? So there is a cell containing a virus, cell is, cell has got infected with a virus. Now this virus infected cell, it releases interferons and these interferons are going to basically protect the neighboring cells from the viral infection, right? So the neighboring cells, they become aware about the presence of interferon in the body. That is the role of the interferons which are secreted by the virus infected cells. The virus infected cell is dying but during this, uh, during this infection it releases a group of interferons, those interferons diffuse into the neighboring cells, making them aware about the presence of virus, virus, uh, virus uh, in the body, right? So that uh, the neighboring cells equip themselves, so that the neighboring cells will launch a defense program, we will launch a defense mechanism, so that they will be protected from the viral infection. Let us see how. Let us see how uh, the virus infected cell release interferons, and those interferons go into the neighboring cells and protect them. Listen carefully. For example, this is a cell here, right? This cell is infected with a virus and there's a viral genome uh, colored in right, right, right? So the virus is present in this cell and this virus infected cell is releasing, yes, interferons, the green, releasing interferons. And these interferons are going to diffuse into the neighboring cells. Once these interferons released by the virus infected cell, they diffuse into the neighboring cells. What the neighboring cells are going to do in response to what? Interferon call. So interferon comes, right, it diffuses into the neighboring cells and what neighboring cells are going to do in response to it? Now neighboring cells are going to form some important proteins, we can call them as antiviral proteins. And actually these antiviral proteins are translational inhibition proteins. That is a tip, you can just remember it. Translational inhibiting proteins. These translational inhibiting proteins, how they are basically going to protect the neighboring cells, protect the cell from the virus, right? Let's see. 
these uh, translational inhibiting proteins what they do they inhibit translation means protein synthesis of viral mrna into the protein so it means that these proteins that is a tip translational inhibiting pro inhibition proteins they are going to inhibit they are going to stop right they will not allow the translation that is a protein synthesis of what viral mrna it means viral protein formation will stop viral protein formation will be inhibited by what by the translational inhibiting proteins so once the viral mrna cannot be translated into protein right so it means cells they become resistant against viral infection we know it very well cell a virus goes into the cell genome goes into the cell right it has to replicate there it has to form multiple copies and for that purpose it requires protein and that protein uh, formation is inhibited blocked stopped by what translational inhibiting inhibition protein and from where from this uh, translational inhibiting protein or antiviral protein comes it is formed in it is formed by the cell in response to the interferons where from those interferons are coming those interferons are coming from the virus infected cell are we clear this is a dying cell right it sacrifices itself but at the same time it releases bunch of yes please group of interferons so that the neighboring normal cells will become aware about the presence of virus in the body so that they will protect themselves by forming yes translational inhibiting protein which in turn is going to inhibit the protein formation or translation inhibit the translation of what viral mrna into protein so cells become resistant against what against the viral infection i hope it's clear now this was about the interferons right now interferons after interferons let us see what nkc natural killer cell is all about right let us see natural killer